How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win as you guys already know that and we've got some pretty interesting topics to talk about today. So a little bit about the gameplay. The gameplay is a map, well it's a game on the map, uh, Cliffside, and uh, this is the second game of World at War that I was talking about. Pretty exciting. Uh, I'm using the Gewehr, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, to all my German fans, How, however many there are out there. I hope I've made you proud with my pronunciation of your German assault rifle. Anyways, that's not what I want to really talk about. What I do want to talk about is why Modern Warfare 4, as you probably saw from the title of this video, has to be good. Now, we all strive for Call of Duties to be good, and I think I get owned in a second right here. I do by this guy. Look at him sitting in the back, and he just decides to come out right as I walk through. Perfect timing. Anyways, we all strive for Call of Duty to be good. We want Call of Duty to be excellent, this awesome experience that we can enjoy for really, I would say about, if you can enjoy Call of Duty for about six to seven months without getting, you know, just physically bored, like, oh, I have to play this game today, Call of Duty has done a good job. Because it, you know, a Call of Duty would really be very refreshing every six months, that's not possible, so every year is what we have to deal with. But there are a few things that makes this Modern Warfare 4 release special that is going to be a little bit more difficult than any other one to excel in. So, if you guys remember, Call of Duty 2 dropped with the Xbox 360 and then Call of Duty 3 certainly certain there afterwards. And then there came Call of Duty 4. And Call of Duty 4, I think, is the staple FPS for the Xbox 360 console. You know, it's, got, it's what got me into Call of Duty, which led me to World at War, to Modern Warfare 2, so on and so on and so on. And that's where we really stand today. And because they made a such a great first impression in which I'll say this era of Call of Duty with perks and killstreaks, etc., Call of Duty has withstood the test of time on the Xbox 360 and PS3 and has become a really successful game on each of these consoles. However, Modern Warfare 4 is, like I said, as a special scenario because it is being released with a next generation console. My opinion is, and obviously I don't know that Treyarch, or excuse me, not Treyarch, Activision and whoever they go with, Neversoft, Raven, Infinity Ward, I have a feeling that they are going to be releasing their game for the Xbox 360 and then later down the line for the Xbox 720 because it looks like the new generation of consoles, and correct me if I'm wrong, are not going to be backwards compatible. If they are backwards compatible, then boom, you just stick your PS3 and Xbox 360 disc right into the game. Uh, right into the next generation console and you'll be good to go but if it's not backwards compatible that means that you are going to need to produce a very very well polished well finely tuned game in order for people to stay on their old generation of consoles possibly even go buy back their old generation of consoles in order to play your game because nowadays it's so easy pop in black ops 2 play for a few games you don't like it get off but now, let's say that Modern Warfare 4 is going to be on the older generation of consoles. That means you would have to plug in your old generation console if you didn't already have it plugged in. Pop in an old disc. You're probably not going to have any friends on. And you're going to end up playing an older game when there's better and brighter games out there on the market. Which leads me to my next point. There are going to be some amazingly awesome games that are coming out at the same time of Modern Warfare 4. And Modern Warfare 3 had the same, um, you know, it took the same tumble, I guess you could say. Skyrim came out shortly after Modern Warfare 3, and I can say Skyrim probably saved me from going Modern Warfare 3 crazy. Now, like Modern Warfare 4, we have games like Watch Dogs, Uncharted, Killzone for you PS4 guys, um, Grand Theft Auto 5, can I say any more blockbuster games? Um, oh yeah, I can. Gears of War Judgment, which is a another epic Microsoft game. Not like epic as in it's great, but epic, the company that makes the game. Who knows, it might be great. So... It's not like Modern Warfare 4 and Call of Duty is like, ah, we can push out whatever we want. They're going to buy it anyways. No, 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 no. This is an economy of self-interest where other game developers are going to be taking in their best interest that Call of Duty does no longer reign supreme in this year, on this time. And if they make unbelievable games, I'm talking to you, Rockstar, and, uh, you know, whoever else, Watch Dogs, whoever makes Watch Dogs, I don't know if it's 2K or not, and then all these other great games, Grand Theft Auto, I've said that already, but if they make great games this fall... For the even the old generation of console, Grand Theft Auto 5 is probably going to be the last greatest game we'll see on this generation of console, and it might do better than Call of Duty this year. And that's a crazy thought to think about. Thought to think about? Can I even say that? That's a crazy thing to think about. But if Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 4, if they make a successful Modern Warfare 4 game, you know they have the ability to change the tides of the console market. What if their game is so good that? 
you know, people are staying on the old consoles and not buying on the new consoles. How would that affect the prices? How would that affect the market of new consoles and et cetera, et cetera? So a lot of different scenarios that are going into uh, the process of, you know, making Modern Warfare 4. Things have to be very good in order to do things very well, and it can slip away from you very quickly. And in a matter of time, you might lose your core fan base, and you might lose the Call of Duty franchise to the next generation of consoles. Anyways, guys, this is more of a topic... Uh, that I want to be talking about, and it involves you guys writing comments and leaving, um, you know, critical feedback or constructive criticism down below, because I want to know your guys' opinions. What do you think about Call of Duty in the future, and how will it be affected by the next generation of consoles? Is it something that's going to live on, or is it something that might die out, and we simply just adjust to new games? Who knows? We'll see. My name is Mr. Bosch the Win. Thanks for watching the video. No video tomorrow. I'm traveling to Atlanta with my best friend. We're going to a concert. Take care, guys. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.